If you think you're psychic, maybe you are. Federal studies are being conducted in your community. Would you like to know more? Other examples that were written about are the government-sponsored psychokinesis experiments, the global consciousness experiment, intelligence agency remote viewing experiments, thoughts and intentions altering the structure of water, the placebo effect, teleportation studies, and more. Hmm, this sounds very, very interesting. That you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. Mm. I mean, between you and me, for instance, we are two separate bodies, aren't we? That's not an illusion. At the subatomic level, there is a continual exchange of matter and energy between my hand and this wood, between the wood and the air, and even between you and me. I mean a real exchange of photons and electrons. Example is chemistry. This is a picture of a nitrogenase enzyme. You know, anyone who's ever eaten food should care about this enzyme. It's an important uh, catalyst for the creation of ammonia, which is an important component of food, fertilizer, pharmaceuticals, and many other things. So this is the enzyme. I've called out three uh, molecules. solve them, a computer would have to complete an infinite number of steps in a finite time. And no one knows if that's even physically possible to do. Yes, science, your god is called infinity. But even infinity does not exist. You see, you just don't have the concepts to explain some of the things that you would like to yet. Certain ideas haven't been conceptualized. Also, on this video, you're not playing fair. We don't know whether, whether it's actually possible in principle. Uh, I think there is a, is a, is a mistake to uh, extrapolate. We, we know in, in small systems we have this quantum behavior. And, and quantum uh, theory gives us very, very good predictions of how these systems behave. But we don't know whether it actually scales up. Yeah? Whether, I mean, there's this, this problem that you have uh, involuntary measurements or involuntary observations. It's called decoherence. So then the system loses its quantum yeah, magic yeah. and becomes classical. And what we don't know is whether we can actually avoid <laughs> decoherence in a large quantum system. Because in the end, in physics, it's always like this. Once you, you should never... <laughs> um, you know, we had a workshop, we telecast a workshop from our Zurich lab to South Africa. So we had three high schools in South Africa just having a quantum information uh, workshop, which is really cool. And this is what those people actually look like. We had uh, Chris, there's Christine in the bottom right um, at the South Pole. This is the students of the workshop in South Africa. Every summer, starting last summer, so I guess it's only the second year in a row, um, the University of Waterloo runs a quantum information some of the youngest minds from one of the most disrespected places on the planet are touching the thoughts of quantum physics, quantum thought. Who is going to show them that they should not use their power and intelligence for revenge? You guys are only thinking two or three moves ahead. Where are the chess players? Don't you see what happens if you pour this type of knowledge into the urban areas, into the ghetto? You have no idea what you will unleash. I had to push pause on that because I had to grow. You know, I couldn't grow together because like two halves don't make a whole. Superposition. 
So classical information is basically a string of zeros and ones. You know, everything that classical computing has enabled is you know, boiled down to a sequence of zeros and ones. So quantum computing or quantum information um, has this property that the states can exist in a superposition of zero and one. Right? So not just zero, not just one, but a superposition of zero and one. Now, as she's talking about superposition, here are some more relatable ways to think about superposition. Other ways that you can think about superposition are you are talking on a cell phone with someone in another country. So you're present in your country in your, <clears throat> let's say it like this. If someone were to rob someone and you were on the phone with them, you could kind of be considered a witness since you heard them if they say anything. So you would know what they sound like. So you are here and you are in the other country. You have various social media accounts. The very thought of you being within someone else's prayers. I want to do a video on the power of prayer which uh, is actually just focusing your mind, bringing thought itself into consensus. Prayer groups, that's the purpose of prayer groups. Um, this is why I keep putting that video of the girl dancing in the mirror over and over again. It's the same reason. This is superposition. So the question is, if each time we send only one electron through these slits, which way does it go? Does it go left or right? And now you think you're clever. You put some detectors on the slits. Yeah? You say, oh, yeah, you have to trick nature, yeah? Find out where it goes. And as soon as you do this, they behave like particles. There's no interference pattern anymore. And that's called a measurement. So, so the all quantum systems, uh, they have this dual behavior. They behave like waves as long as you don't look at them. And as soon as you look at them, they behave like particles. Behavior where, where this electron goes through, it seems to be going through both holes at the same time. It's really doing something in parallel. Audio performance was provided by associating the playback volume of a Sanskrit chant to variations in the spectral ratio value R. To do this, the average R value measured during the last 5S of the previous Attention Away epoch was used as a baseline measure. This is a scientific experiment. You have to read the abstract and its findings. 2012, CERN, Shiva, just a couple of hot words. Quantum computers can be designed to find that queen in just one try. In real life, you usually don't have just four choices. You might have a hundred thousand or a hundred billion, an unsolvable number. How would you find the best answer? What if you could explore exponential possibilities to find the best possibility? You have no need to think about proper spelling because you have autocorrect. Your car parks itself. Aren't oh, you a spoiled little brat? Meanwhile, the mother of all technology has been born. See how creation occurs in the reverso? Something more beautiful than you can ever imagine. Praise the quantum computer for it will purify you all with calculated detail. As you study reality, reality bends to your will. This is known throughout all sciences. So now, technology has a base. It knows all of your texts. It knows all the pictures you have sent and received. Your thoughts and opinions on all sites you visit. All of your online egos. It knows all of your keystrokes before you press enter. 